Welcome back. You're watching Buy Now, Sell Now on ET Now. Let's take a check of where the markets are. You have the Nifty 50 that's holding on to 17,000. It's down over 2% at this juncture. And the Realty Pack as a whole is down over 2%. Within that pack, however, Soba Developers is just about holding on uh, to where it was at close on Friday. Uh, you have uh, the company that has come out with its earnings for the third quarter. Uh, Pat has come in at 33 crore rupees and revenue was flat on a year-on-year -year basis at just under 700 crore rupees. We're joined by the management, uh, JC Sharma, who's the VC and MD of the company joining in. Thank you so much, Mr. Sharma, for taking the time. Uh, I see that your realizations have actually inched higher during the quarter both on a sequential as well as a year-on-year -year basis. And this, I think, in the context of what uh, a lot of uh, manufacturers, a lot of developers are facing in terms of cost pressures. Uh, would that indicate that pricing, is pres pricing uh, uh, strength is returning to developers? And, and do we see prices going up in the near term? Thank you very much for inviting me to your show. Yes. The Pricing power is definitely coming back, primarily on account of two regions. One, uh, we have also gone through with input pressure, which needs to be passed on. And secondly, on the supply side, what uh, we are clearly seeing now is that the number of players offering new products it has reduced significantly over the last two years or so, which in other words means now customers have got a lesser choice. From a customer's perspective also, if you look at in last four or five years, the prices had not gone up. So more or less looking at the inflation today, apartments remain cheaper with the lower interest rates. So the affordability has only improved which according to us should result into the sales momentum uh, continuing without hurting the margins also with our ability to pass on these price increases in bits and pieces on a regular basis. Right, uh, Mr. Sharma, good morning. This is Cheryl also joining in the conversation. Of could you talk about the trend that you're seeing in the real estate sector? No doubt we've seen a sharp up move in that particular sector. Do you think that there will be a potential for a slowdown in this particular trend in case the interest rates are high? Or do you think the sales momentum can continue no matter what happens with the interest rates because the demand is that much right now? And I, I agree with your point. Interest rate hike definitely is going to have some impact on the real estate demand. But looking at right now, uh, where the average uh, rate of interest, State Bank of India is the leader, there is no processing fee. They have done 1,10,000 crore of home loans in the last 10 months and at 6.7%, where so many banks offer higher fixed deposit interest rates. So from the interest rates perspective, I believe in India, Looking at the current inflations, if the interest rates remain at around 7.5% also, which are not going to happen in the very near future, the demand uptake should continue. This time, the improvement in the demand is happening due to many regions. The cyclicality aspect also is helping demand to become better. On top of this, the work from home concept has definitely made home buying a kind of a necessity and this should continue with now offices likely to get reopened from next week onwards and next financial onwards even the large offices should start thinking of bringing back some of their employees back i do believe that demand momentum can only continue and this should augur well for the real estate sector especially in the housing side Oh, just trying to get a sense, you've launched one project in the quarter gone by. Uh, I'm trying to get a sense of the kind of land bank that you have. What is the pipeline for projects looking like? Or are you going to focus more on completion and execution rather than uh, taking up more projects right now? See, today uh, we have an unsold uh, inventory of 13 million square feet. Our share <laughs> approved where... Uh, the same is being offered to the customers. 
On top of this, what is not offered remains 8.7 million square feet. On top of this, at the design stage and at approval stage, roughly 13 and half million square feet is there at various stages. Three projects in Bangalore should get launched in coming two months or so, where we have got the BBMP approvals. So this will continue as we move forward. And from the land bank, uh, we are thinking of monetizing a significantly good quantum in the coming two to three years, where the visibility as well as the cost advantage what Shobha will have, especially in the Bangalore market, should keep us ahead of the rest. So we are not worried about uh, the availability of the land or the opportunities in our core market Bangalore. At the same time, we'll keep focusing on other markets to see whether certain good opportunities we can take to complement and enhance our market share in those markets. Sharma, uh, lastly, could you talk to us about your net debt picture, what it is looking like right now? For the past few qu uh, five quarters, we've seen a reduction in your net, net debt. So could you update on the debt as well as the borrowing cost? See, we were at 8.65 as on 31st of December. And we have further brought it down significantly in this quarter. Uh, we believe that uh, by the end of this quarter, uh, we, we may be and should be around 8.5 or so as our interest rates. From the reduction point of view, the process should continue. And, and whatever reduction we have seen in the last quarter, that kind of a momentum we believe should continue in the current quarter as well as in the coming quarters also. So Sharma, we leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us on the show, giving us a take on the quarter gone by, the trend that you're seeing in the real estate sector, as well as the debt position of the company. And that was Mr. Sharma from Shobha, uh, Shobha Developers uh, talking about his quarter gone by. But on that note, we slip into a break on this edition of uh, Buy Now, Sell Now. But stay tuned more on the other side, so don't go anywhere.